hundreds of accidents on just a handful of roads. Tonight we have a list of some of the most dangerous commutes in Clarksville. News Channel 5's Emily Luxon joins us at the smart screen and Emily, you don't have to know that city very well to know some of the roads reputations. Well, that's right. You know, a lot of people all around the area won't find this list surprising, but here's a look at the top five. Wilma Rudolph Boulevard, Boulevard number one, Fort Campbell Boulevard, followed by Trenton Road, Tiny Town Road, and Madison Street and police say there have actually been 423 crashes so far this year on these five roads. Six were deadly. The less I'm on it, the better I like it. Clarksville drivers know a trip down Wilma Rudolph Boulevard often comes with traffic, but Wayne Kleinert at Honest One Auto Care says it's also dangerous. For the last two years, he's had a perfect view of accidents he claims happen at least once a week. We did have one that, that hit this cupboard out here and flipped in the air and went over the driveway and then went out in the street. Clarksville police say there have been 125 accidents on Wilma Rudolph Boulevard in just two months. There have been just over 300 since the beginning of the year, making it statistically the most dangerous road in the city. A conclusion Andrew Grimm agrees with. In the morning, it's pretty hectic sometimes, and plus I'm a bike rider too, so it's really got to keep an eye out for everybody around. It's a similar story on Fort Campbell Boulevard. Police count 105 accidents during May and June and a total of 247 this year. Most recently, a motorcyclist was killed and multiple people injured in a crash on Saturday that's still being investigated. Trenton Road ranks third on the list with 68 crashes over the last two months. It's followed by Tiny Town Road and Madison Street. Wayne says all of the roads are heavily traveled, and the only solution may be for drivers to be more alert. You always have to keep your eyes open and watch because somebody will either pull out in front of you or stop or change lanes. It's pretty common out here for that to happen. Now, a lot of these roads have made the list in the past. From January to April of this year, Wilma Rudolph Boulevard, Fort Campbell Boulevard, Trenton Road, and Madison Street were ranked in the top four. The 101st Airborne Division Parkway took the fifth spot. Carrie, back to you. Emily.